we're back here with the last for our EX playthrough. It has been some time, a little over two years, since we played this game last. We are carrying on with our 100% playthrough, but uh, the, the first three episodes of this recorded were recorded just before around the time I was sort of starting to get a little more serious about having more of a routine and uh, a schedule to my recordings, which is where I decided I would play games in a particular order, and uh, this was one of the playthroughs where I said, let's set that aside for now while we play some other games. That are more priority because we haven't beaten them already, whereas this we were just doing 100%. Which was a shame, but no longer, because I picked it as a wild card, so we get to play it more. We're headed for 100%, and just to recap what that means, uh, in each level there are a bunch of strawberries, there's a crystal heart, and there's a cassette tape, which uh, equit equates to a B-side, which is like a remix version of the level, I'm pretty sure. The strawberries are just for bragging rights. The crystal hearts all unlock the mystical chapter 9, which is core. Or is that chapter 8? Never mind. Core, anyway. And the tapes, like I said, they unlock an alternate version of the level. So, before we check all the Steam achievements, we're gonna do that at some point, because I want to get all of them. Our first and foremost priority is get every strawberry, every crystal heart, and every cassette tape, and then play through all of the core. Which I'm apprised is supposed to be really hard. But as you can see, I played this game through once or twice on my own uh, in between then and now, just because the, I, I realized <laughs> something I realized about this game is that it means a heck of a lot to me. I think I left it with a pretty positive review, in game review, the first time we beat it two years ago ish. But this was definitely like a. I didn't realize quite how much at the time this game had an impact on me. This game, Omori, Fireman Three Houses, and Mother Three were like the four big games that got me through my first few years of university, and I will always be grateful for that. So if I'm not mistaken, uh, so the way we were doing it was, uh, since we started the EX playthrough, every level, every episode, we would go through a level, uh, one more, once more on our own, just looking very, very carefully for any collectibles, and then I would use a guide at the end, because I ain't gonna find all these. Come on, I'm not that smart. Generally, the strawberries are hidden behind one or two little puzzles, and the uh, cassette tapes, similarly, are off in a side room somewhere, and the crystal hearts are a little more obscure than that. They'll be in a room, but they won't. it won't necessarily even be clear that they're there. They'll just be like, the barest hints of a puzzle. And I'm still very proud of myself for figuring out that bird's one. And I don't think... did I, I didn't figure out any of the other ones, did I? We used a guide to get as far as the bird's one, and then I stopped looking at the guide so I could figure the puzzle out myself, and I actually did it. I did it. All right, but what that means is it's time for us to head back to the Golden Ridge and try and find these remaining uh, 11 strawberries and the Crystal Heart, because we do have the B-side tape unlocked already. I died a lot here because of the wind, but I reckon we can scratch up one or two more strawberries before cheating with a guide. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a little excited about this. <laughs> I've been waiting for this for a while. Got my Celeste shirt on. Got Madeline and Madeline, Lord of Despair, with me. We're all the best of chums, and we're going to do this. <laughs> Golden Ridge, let's do it. Okay, so in the first uh, act here... Or no, that's the whole thing? Or no, no, that's the so that's the beginning thing. We actually got basically everything here. We got the cassette tape and every strawberry. Does it tell you where the crystal heart is again? It does not. So it could be that the crystal heart we're missing is here. Um, but let's just start from Shrine, shall we? And we'll uh, carry on looking for hearts where they may be around. Uh, and let's see if I remember how to do all of this. Sure, I do I remember how to do some of it. So there's a strawberry we already got. Um, but there's also something maybe interesting going on over here. Hey yeah Another strawberry! Aha! I forgot what the grapple button was. My apologies. So first time we were through here, we only caught, uh, caught wind of this this strawberry up here but there was a secret other strawberry right here the whole time how delightful oh my god it's a very different experience i think we i think we found uh the, the in our in part e ex part part ex one to three that it's actually quite a, a fair bit easier to find a lot of strawberries when you're not focused on also playing the story for the first time you have a better sense of where uh where forward is you have a better sense of um what they're doing to hide things from you and what they're doing not to hide things from you. Okay, so I'm, I'm seeing there's a right here and there's a left on the far left side there, both of which we want to do before progressing, ideally. Um, oh, I guess it doesn't matter as much here because if you go up here, you can just come back down here. But I believe the exit to this place is way at the top, so there's a bunch of side rooms around here, this area called the Shrine that we can uh, check around. So let's use a little binoculars here. Um, that little room there, I can't remember what, if anything, that was about. So there's a strawberry here. I don't see anywhere else you could hide one, but I'll try slamming my face into that little in-cropping where there's a uh, uh, one of those things because it looks kind of like something should happen doesn't it Ooh, let me just land here so I get my thing back and then I uh, get this out of here and yeah climb back here can I smash this no it kind of looks like you can though so I think I've probably got all there is to get here and now I'm dead oh yes it closes that off once you grab the strawberry right so we can be, we can be a little more a little confident about that I feel like we maybe did find the site of the crystal heart here like we found one that was an obvious puzzle and i just didn't figure it out at the time i know we did for the chapter seven reflection but i'm ow i'm not 100 percent sure uh it doesn't look like we need to go anywhere around here probably have got that and this is just a way back so that's that may as well grab the strawberry just so we we'll see if 
Well, I guess it, it won't lock it off for us yet if we're, this is our one of our way ba ways back, but may as well just grab them. I don't know how I thought that was going to happen. Just grab them so we can be sure we've been to a place and all. There we go. That'll do. I haven't lost all my skills with this thing. I can't remember if I was playing this game with the analog stick or the D-pad before. I'm doing the D-pad right now, and it feels, it feels all right. Oh, interesting. If that's blocked that way off, then if we go around the other way and end up out there, how do we get back? Maybe it just opens it again. I'm partially playing it with the anal uh, the D-pad, not the analog stick, because this is my Xbox controller, and you may remember the analog stick easily gets stuck in the left position on this controller. So it's not the ideal <laughs> controller for this, but if I'm using the D-pad, it doesn't matter anyway. All right, so that up there is obviously glowing, but we should... There should be some kind of uh, path right here, right? So maybe that's only a way out from there. But from what we saw from the binoculars, we, we should expect there to be a path there. Uh, we were already here? No, we were not. Ah, and there's a strawberry we don't have. Good, so that looks like a platform that falls out from uh, beneath me, so I must have just given uh, not tried this last time we were here, or given up or whatever. And I understand why. Right, wait, we want to get this through the little spiky point here, and then duck again, and, and hit. Yahoo! It almost looks like I could smash through this. Looks a little cracked or something, doesn't it? I don't know, understand how we get from up, uh, to up top there, but that's all right. Maybe that'll become clear when we do this. I forgot I had to steer it, very briefly. And we want to hop to you now, and... I'm kind of ad-libbing this and not really looking ahead where I'm going, but it's fine. Seems like a pretty straightforward room so far. Ah, this is how you get to this room. Uh, so we're about to find out what happens if this was already blocked off move this here, and then it goes curse smash, and we just glide our way on down here. Because we were, we expected this wall over here to be closed now. It just opens it again. Gotcha. Uh, so there's one up above from here, which means there'll be some other exit there, we think. I seem to recall having the Kirby problem where I couldn't remember which way was forward the first time we did this, and which way was secrets. Um, I imagine this one, this glowing one over here is a secret. I think, did we find out that that's a thing? How would we get there? Is there some kind of platform I can... S oh, I can steer this one, right. Okay, so I can just do this. Gotcha. Somehow I forgot I could steer it, even whilst steering it. So over here, we should be able to see this room here. Uh, this looks like it's open, doesn't it? Ha-ha! <laughs> yes. How many strawberries in this place yet? Right, so the red ones are ones we've collected in this uh, time here. So there are two missing in this beat yet. I'm assuming the shrine, this the shrine beat, refers to this whole kind of tall room here. So the one I just got, I'm assuming, is the rightmost one, which means there's one before it. Maybe like in a room, maybe that means it's in a room below, I'm not sure. That may also just be, they may be going left to right, such that um, the one before it is the one on the left there that we sort of skipped earlier. Uh, all right, uh, so I'm gonna climb up here, get onto this, and then duck on on down. Actually, this kind of feels like we're going forward, doesn't it? I might have uh, done goofed a little here. But it's fine, we can seemingly, we're allowed to reload the checkpoint pretty liberally, so. Shouldn't be a problem. By which I mean, re reload from the start of the shrine. And ow! Do this whole thing again. I'm quite excited for the core because, um, I often hear people refer to this game as like a tough as nails platform, like it's really one of the hardest there is. And I, I get that you die a lot. It is a, it feels more like a game that you're supposed to die a lot. I, I would say it feels more like a game you're supposed to die a lot than uh, a game that is, strictly speaking, difficult. Some people would say that is the definition of a difficult game, a game that we're meant to die a lot, but I'm not 100% sure I would agree with that. Um, I'm not saying this game has never has been difficult ever, but I, it wasn't its defining quality when I first played it. I didn't think, I didn't get through it and go, man, if I could say one thing about that game, it was how difficult it was. Which is why I'm excited, because I've heard the core is supposed to be even bloody harder than the rest of it, so... I'm probably gonna change my mind on that when we get there. To me, this is more less of a difficult game and more of a game that requires a lot of focus and perseverance, which is okay with me. In the same way that a lot of people consider Dark Souls a difficult game, and I, I understand that it's a game where you, you don't victory is not always assured, <laughs> but to me, that's not exactly the same thing. Oh, I didn't do a very good job of getting that strawberry. I, I don't need it, obviously, but I just want to check if I've already skipped the. If I'm already out of the shrine, I think there are sometimes multiple routes through these levels as well. So maybe that this isn't this is one way forward of a few. That wasn't very good. Okay, that'll do. <laughs> I don't really understand how, but that'll do. Uh, that was the last one of the shrine, so presumably I'm about out of it now. Yeah, yeah, that'll be a different checkpoint. So let's uh, I'll hop to the map. Two more, good. <laughs> like ten more deaths. Hop to the map and let's try and get some other ones in this area that I clearly missed like a fool. So if that glowing spot is actually the way forward, <laughs> clearly I still don't understand which ones mean forward and which ones are just extra. Uh, we haven't... Did we go here? Yeah. But we didn't ever end up up there. And uh, if I'm just... Let me just confirm my understanding that getting there... 
you do from up top. Good. Which suggests that it'll happen when we go up through here. There are both of the, the strawberries we're missing will be through this way and to the left. So that, because that, what we're, what we're seeing over on the right here is forward. This is sort of outhouse thing here. I mean, I guess it's good to have one <laughs> somewhere on this mountain. Unless that was one of those buildings that uh, the granny hang out in. Not sure. Anyway, this will clearly just bring us right over to this strawberry. That was convenient. But then we're still missing one. Uh, it's said to be after this point, but before that very last one. Why is there a one etched into the rock here? Maybe it's not meant to be a one. So perhaps you are. We are, uh, there's one more in this room somewhere that I missed. So th just to be clear, this one that's right here is uh, that one right there. I only just noticed that this is very obviously cracked. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Took me probably longer than I should have. Oh, interesting. These more of these Super Mario Bros. 3 blocks. I thought we usually only found those in rooms where there was um, a cassette tape. Ah, there's a crystal heart here. Okay. How interesting. So I've discovered the crystal heart's location. This, this thing, how do I, is this thing, oh, hang on, there's a smashy smashy here, is there going to be one of those blocks you have to maneuver around, oh, oh, and here's also the last strawberry, oh, marvelous, okay, I would like to, ow, if I can help it, I would very much like to get this crystal star, uh, crystal star, <laughs> wrong game, crystal heart without uh, losing a guide for this one, since we made it this far, I was way too slow for that, I think, oh, no, that might have worked, you don't actually need this up uh, moving one, it ju you just have to get it out of the way. And then you just get on this one. Ah! I'm always jumping too far forward with my momentum there. My momentum, as Dashy Games would put it. Ah! I've been watching enough of uh, a bunch of Dashy's uh, Super Mario Maker episodes recently, to the point that it sounds weird when I say momentum. I'm like, there's got to be another syllable to that. <laughs> Interesting, so that was the, the last heart of this area, but we know the Crystal Heart to be here now also. So I'm now on the lookout for... I'm getting the feeling, because the Crystal Heart puzzles are usually sort of... Uh, obtuse isn't the word, but they're very they're very obscure and very sneaky. To the point that what I'm feeling here, since this level is all about those moving platforms, I am feeling... And it's not like the first level where we didn't even see the Crystal Heart, and there was a puzzle to reveal it. In this one, it's just sitting here, but it's just getting that high, that's the issue. Which suggests to me, in this level full of moving platforms, that there's some way to get a moving platform into here. And the only way I can think is that there's one in a room adjacent that you can convince to get all the way over here, but this one only goes right, so it's not that. That one only goes up, so it's not that. That one only goes left, so it's, it's not that. I'm not thinking it's that. I mean, it, I expect it, expect it has something to do with this here, but I can't imagine how... Uh, how... How would a cute, double-jumping, charismatic woman of my, of, of my designation be expected to solve the mystery of whatever the hell this thing is? It feels like it should unscrew and there'll be a, a moving platform there that you can steer, right? Oh yeah, I can climb walls. What am I doing? <laughs> uh, that could help, couldn't it? So I can... Oh? Uh? Oh? This could, this could be something. Maybe that white block has nothing to do with anything after all. No, it doesn't feel like this would be it. Because I also literally do not see a way. If I spin the control stick around as though I'm undoing a screw... <laughs> uh, hmm. I'm expecting it to be some unusual puzzle like that. It could be also be that there's like actually a, a literal screwdriver somewhere in the level that I just haven't found. And if you bring it this far without dying or something, you get to unscrew those. I'm expecting it to be something very, very weird like that. I do love that all the rock patterns, the, the sort of downward pointy rocks kind of look like hearts. Because I can get uh, this whole uh, hop to the side and then grapple a higher ledge only gets me so far because then there's like a really far out ledge right at the top there. And you can't just touch these, right? You do actually have to boosted into them. So it's not like even if I got far enough, uh, far enough to like just jump into it, it would be as easy as that. I do actually have to get da boost. Let me just check if there was anything over here that could somehow help us with all of this. It's not like I could get the platform you ride up here through this gap. It would, it would just keep going up. And is this a uh, point of no return? Not just yet, but you're not getting the platform through here. That outhouse maybe? It's, it's sort of unusual. Hang on. Actually, can I climb up this waterfall thing here? Oh, hold on. Is there a screwdriver up here? Hang one moment. Let me just uh, check if... Uh, yes, thank you. Ow, uh, no, thank you. I'm going to start from the beginning and see if there's like an obvious screwdriver sitting on the ground somewhere that I would have skipped at the beginning and being like, oh, that's a fun little detail and not realize that it's actually crucial for the crystal heart. Because that that white block seems so suspicious and, and there's like obviously enough uh, definition to show you that there are screws 
Sorry, didn't mean to scare you. I was just looking for a screwdriver. Uh, nothing up here. This bridge looks like it should, it should break, doesn't it? Screwdriver. If I were if I were a game designer, if I were a Maddie makes games, where would I put a screwdriver? That's a strawberry. Very nice. But where would I put a screwdriver? That looks important up there. But it isn't. I'm stuck! <laughs> it's like, fine, I have a boost. I can boost out. This is the only, like, inhabited area I could think to look around. So, like, if there was a screwdriver anywhere, it would be here, right? Maybe here. It would be my... Because, because you can only ever solve a puzzle once, right? It would kind of be my great preference to... It, what, what I mean by that is you'll always know the answer after that somewhere deep down. This is what I've always said about the Ace Attorney games. It would be my great preference to figure this crystal heart out on my own. I'm gonna tackle it with everything I've, I've got. Of course, I could be totally wasting my time, and if there is a screwdriver for this place, there's nothing to stop them from putting it in, in another level somewhere. And you picking it up and being like, what the hell is this about? And then later it turns out to be for this. But I may as well. Because the puzzles so far for the Crystal Hearts have been that kind of, ah, oh, you rascal, you. <laughs> so I'm kind of... Maybe acting out a bit of wishful thinking here, but, um... I don't mind being a bit wishful. It suits my happy-go-lucky personality. And I do apologize, of course, for using guides when I do, but, uh, to, to a point when you're recording it, it's like, there's only so much far you can go before you're just twiddling your thumbs, looking for a solution in the wrong place, and burning the hell out of your hard drive and time. <laughs> in my youth, if I had been doing this, I would, I would, uh, balk at the idea of using a guide for a pretty long time, and I would I would give it like at least a few years before <laughs> it's giving into a guide, probably. But being that I'm hoping to do this all on camera, the time frame must be hurried along just a little bit. But I, like I said, I'm not throwing in the towel just yet. I'm just getting that out of the way, so no one's too disappointed when I inevitably am not smart enough to do this. Have we ever been up here? It looks like the place I would miss, but no, there's uh, these things. So clearly, we've got a strawberry from here. We've done this. What about over here? And this is where we got, would've got the B-side. Interesting. There's a lot of up we can go from here. That's neat, the B-side is like a, it's a bit translucent now. Doesn't, oh, there's anything up here though? Just a moment. You can see when we pan over here, there's clearly a room to my right here. Almost like I'm supposed to smash this. God, this game is so beautiful. I keep looking at uh, these little, um, Side rooms and being like, I don't remember this one. That must be where the screwdriver is. But then I'm like, yeah, but it was like years ago that I did this, so I don't remember anyway. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad to be back. Oh, never mind. This was just this room. I see. <laughs> I'm back at the shrine. So, if I missed it, uh, I did genuinely miss it just now. That, that seems a little, a little obtuse even for these puzzles. I would think to to put hide something you need for it uh, before that checkpoint. Of course, I only I don't have a large sample size. I've only got what three or four of them now, and I'm kind of blanking on what some of the puzzles you needed, to, uh, some of the puzzles were for them. But I don't remember any of them being quite that horrible to you. It feels like they put it here, right past this point of no return, deliberately, so that you don't try and bring a platform into it and like freak out about that. It feels like they've put it here, chosen this spot, so that you're not worrying about the puzzle before this room, so that you can you can keep it all contained to this room. So none of these uh, blocks have any control besides the, the main one, as far as I can tell. <laughs> I, also, this is kind of a random time to mention this, but I, I have always loved about this game that when they, whenever they talk about climbing the mountain, except for like all the monsters and stuff, they're usually like, they treat it like it's a normal mountain climb and not like this death-defying, massively acrobatic leap across like huge spiky caverns and stuff. They're like, oh yeah, I'm just uh, I'm just giving a little hike up here. I just I felt like I needed to clear my mind. It's like, what? <laughs> this is like eighth wonder of the world, most incredible thing ever done by a human status. Unless all people in this world can just do this kind of platforming. But only trans people can double jump, as everyone knows. Hmm. Yes, ponderously stroke your chin. That that will help us figure it out. <laughs> I'm looking at it, I'm pondering it, I'm considering it. It's gotta be something with this thing here. How look how out of place it is. Oh! I only just noticed the figure the, the statues of a Madeline crouching. If I crouch on it for like ten seconds. What happened? I'm in the background now! 
Oh my god, that was so worth it. I'm so glad I didn't look it up. That's so freaking cool. Give me that crystal heart. Woo! Eye of the storm. Thank you, Steam. Collect the crystal heart in chapter four. I am clever. <laughs> Oh, that was so cool! Sorry, that probably took me way longer than it should have. <laughs> also, random time, just because I'm thinking about random things. I think I've heard some rumor, and this might be spoilers, I'm not sure, so sorry if it is. That, um, the character you're playing as in the, uh, Pico 8 is the granny. Climbed this mountain when she was younger, and you're sort of really- that the, the game is based on her adventure somehow. Of course, literally, I think that was like an old prototype for the game or an old Flash version or something like that that they just ported to the game for fun. But sorry, I don't know why that. I, I just uh, somehow the more purple version of her in the statue reminded me of that. Oh, I'm so happy we got that. That took me way longer than it really should have. It was much less tricky than I was imagining. I was imagining something really awkward where you had to get this because it looks like there are screws on this thing. It looks like you had to unscrew them somehow with some screwdriver you find at a level or something like that. Oh, that makes me so happy. One episode back. In this thing, we've already found a crystal heart by ourselves and all the uh, strawberries so far. I haven't used a guide at all this episode. This is going to be freaking amazing. The mirror temple is not going to go so smoothly, I suspect. That that uh, ep probably was the, the level that gave me the most trouble in our uh, main playthrough. In terms of just actually trying to get through the, the, the puzzles and, and missions and levels. I mean, core, uh, uh, not core, but um, the, the final, the, the summit, like the last level was also not too easy, but... Oh, sorry, I'm supposed to bring that with me. Ah, screw it. Let's just uh, use the map to get to the next checkpoint. Sweet, so we found, um, we're gonna have found damn near everything in this level without a guide, which is awesome. To be fair, it's a pretty compact level, so I'd be, I'd be embarrassed if it took us that much longer. So we are missing presently seven strawberries, most of which are on this huge windy path, which makes enough sense because I would have been absolutely going through it at lightning speeds because of how uh, tense the wind sections are. So I'm going to start by uh, <laughs> doing whatever my the opposite of my instinct is at every moment uh, by going backwards as much as possible. So I can't boost here, or maybe maybe I have enough just time to just do that and get it. Ah, yes I do. But then I have to kind of carry on, otherwise I die. I don't seem to have enough room to jump off and grab this wall again, because if I don't hit, hit the direction and I jump, then she just climbs the wall. And if I hit left at all, then she goes flying. So I, I can't just, I can't climb up to the, the ledge above me. I do have to use my boost here, and I have to ideally do it better than that. <laughs> ah! And then we carry on from here, and who knows what's happening here? Oh, it's just a fall. Oh, never mind, I'm supposed to keep going. I thought I thought since there were no spikes there that it was fine, but it was not fine. Of all the things it could, I could describe it as, fine is not one of them. Oh, never mind, there's nothing over there. I'm supposed to make it back somehow. Oh, okay, golly. Oh, maybe I can... Ah, yes. This makes more sense. If I do a bit of... Oh, no, I need to have more stamina at that point, though, so I want to do this pretty quickly. Like so. Hit. Bugger. Timing is pretty tight on this one. Hmm. I don't actually know if it makes more sense to, um... Well, once I get the strawberry... Uh, on the boost that gets the strawberry, boost so completely horizontally or uh, vertically. I think I want to do it horizontally like that, but just... From just an inch higher so that I actually land on the platform. Hmm, actually even doing that didn't land me on the platform. And if I don't have stamina, I can only jump away from the platform at the end there, I think. How would I get back from here? Maybe I can just sort of... I think maybe I just have to leave the jump a little longer than I actually am. Oh, leave the boost, rather. Jump and then, let, like, like let, let me get some horizontal momentum a little more like that. I don't know, it's kind of tough though. I can't remember if I've mentioned it before, but I really love how all the puzzles in this game, if you, uh, like the action puzzles, like this one, are, are very thinky. It seems like they require just about an equal amount of, of like tactics, planning, and uh, the actual like reflex action portion of it. So it's not like, it's not like they're all so conceptually stupidly easy that you just have to mash it until your fingers get it right. You're trying to have your fingers get it right while you're also kind of trying to figure out what to do. It feels like the whole everything on the left side should help somehow. Oh, hang on. Is doing that saving my stamina a bit? And I don't only want to do it like that. Oh, yeah. If you're not actually gripping, you don't actually use any stamina. So I can just do it like that and do it like that. <laughs> I don't know if I ever knew that when I was playing this game for real. But if you're just if you're just hopping off the wall, it does not consume stamina. 
They probably did tell me that. I knew you could do it when you were out of stamina, but I didn't realize that if you just did it like this without gripping the wall, that you uh, kept all your stamina. Good. Um, so that should be probably all that's here, because we know we're not looking for anything too sneaky anymore since we now... Uh, ah! <laughs> did miss those. Since we now have the Crystal Heart and the B-side, we're just looking for... Most of the strawberries are sometimes a little off the beaten path, but not too far. So I don't need to be trying for any too uh, clever puzzles around here. Uh, rather, I don't need to be trying for any... Puzzles that aren't obviously puzzles around here, I wouldn't say. Most of the strawberries are pretty uh, easy to notice when you're when you're right by them. Unless they're hidden in walls and stuff, but that's not really the same as a puzzle as such. Uh, I'm probably going to die when I go down here, but it, I kind of want to check down here just to see if there's anything. No, figured not. Since the camera scrolled a little, though, I was just like, maybe there's something down there. That almost went horribly. Oh, I love this game so much, it's so good to be back. I doubt I've missed a strawberry just yet, uh, but let's just check up here as always. Oh, let's do that a little better. Oh, let's do that a little better, shall we? <laughs> and let's do that a little better, shall we? <laughs> I think one of the reasons I, I really appreciate the, the, the way this game handles difficulty, because uh, I was saying it, it, it's not really difficult before, and, and uh, I'm, that's a bit inaccurate. It, the, I think the, the individual, like, Strokes of the levels are, are challenging, but uh, the reason I was hesitant to apply that like tough as nails mon uh, label to it that uh, I've heard a lot of people describe the game with is partially because I don't know I'm sort of mixing up my definitions of challenging and frustrating here. The game is very not frustrating. I think is 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 the the long and short of it. It's a very good challenge level though, but it's not frustrating because I never feel like. Yeah. I, it, it, it's the game's fault. It's always mine. Like, I think, I, I, I seem to remember when we beat the, the game uh, last time that I remember going out, coming out of it and feeling like there was maybe one time where I felt like the controls didn't respond the way I hoped they would or, or, or the physics were weird or something. One time in the whole game, and I couldn't even remember what it was, I don't think. Anyway, sorry. I, I know I'm just sort of going back on myself. My point is, the game is a good challenge level. It's not frustrating at all. It's designed very well, and I think the game rewards perseverance well enough that I, it doesn't, I don't really consider it like a a grueling, tough as nails challenge, as I have heard people describe it before. That's that's the long and short of what I'm saying. The, thing, the tr trouble is I don't really have a game to compare it, to, a good a, a good example of a game to compare it to where it's both frustrating and very challenging. Hmm, let me collect my thoughts on this. Well, I suppose Dark Souls is a decent uh, example. I would say it's maybe less challenging than this game, but has a greater frustration level. So co cooperatively, it's a bit closer to that tough as nails archetype. What do I mean? Sorry, I know I was in the middle of a playthrough there, but then I just, I started t rambling about this game and then I realized what I was saying didn't really make sense and I don't want to leave it there. <laughs> I think ultimately what I'm getting at is comparing this game to something like uh, the original Super Mario Brothers. The design of this game uh, facilitates the player being better at it because when you die, it brings you back immediately and the, and and you're, it's just that same checkpoint screen. So you get to try that problem again immediately. And so it's, it's, it's designed for you to learn it. Whereas, uh, Older video games such as Super Mario Brothers. I, I, I know Super Mario Brothers isn't like the pinnacle of difficulty, but I find it a much more um, difficult experience to get through, if not literally more challenging. Because every time you die, it, it, the checkpoints are, are much farther back. And if you die, like, you know, certain time, number of times in a row, the checkpoints are very far back. And because Mario handles much more heavily and sort of sluggishly and driftily than Madeline does, the mechanics are inherently designed for a less immediate experience, I think is, is, is uh, what I'm getting at. So when I was saying earlier that this game wasn't challenging, what I meant was it challenged you, but is not difficult. Like, I never hit a point where I'm like, I don't think I can do this. I don't want to carry on anymore. <laughs> and I hit that point very frequently in a game like Super Mario Brothers or now and again Dark Souls, where it's like, why did it lock my rolling to only four directions <laughs> that makes this boss more challenging but also it makes me want to throw my hair into space uh the important takeaway is that i love this game i just realized that i i, I, I earlier said it, i was like, like oh, i don't find this game challenging and then i, I <laughs> realized that the way i said that was very stupid and wrong so i just wanted to correct that as before we carry on oh what i'm probably supposed to do here it occurs to me is catch that bubble and then ride it ahead of the platform yes let's give that a go also can i say i like how bang takes that long, but if you're mashing, you can actually even speed that up. <laughs> the game was clearly designed for impatient people like me who, who can't stand the thought of like, every time you die, it takes like a six second loading screen to get back to where we were. Right, so I wanna jump ahead of this as early as possible to get that. Ooh, I didn't mean to aim it down like that. 
Set it almost too far ahead. And then I, I would do that and then ride it all the way along. And then I would still have a boost to make it back. <laughs> it helps to not miss the platform in the first place. It helps to grapple onto that in the first place. I think both of the previous times I played this game, uh, I, as an in between the end of the, the playthrough and uh, ooh, uh, and now, I played it on my birthday. I'm pretty sure because it was just I, as I got as as that I hit my birthday and I hit that like monument of my age and my experience. I just went, man, it, it's it's just occurring to me how important this game was to me when I played it and how important it is to me now. And it's just it's just so interesting to get that perspective on it now. Seeing this same journey, while well, my journey has, you know, progressed a fair bit, so to speak. If that's maybe maybe a bit more poetic than any of you are prepared to handle right now. <laughs> Is it too early in the morning for that? <laughs> I, I joke, but anyway. Um, that's part of why I picked it as a wild card, because I, I didn't want to stay away for too long. And also just because the longer you don't play something <laughs> on a channel like this, the, the, the sooner you're going to get spoiled. And I don't want that. Right, sorry, so I, uh, the last strawberry I got was... Well, it doesn't actually matter where it was, because we're still in this uh, third checkpoint, I'm pretty confident. It was in there, and then I and there we only got two strawberries ahead of that, and that would be this one, and uh, this one. Which means I just have to go ahead of this one, and then, then right after that we'll be on the lookout for our next one. So, got it. Um, oh yes, I need this. Uh, how do I see that going about? Oh, riding that thing along. Yes, that makes sense. Like that, and then... We're fine. Did I get a strawberry in there? I didn't. I felt like I was just going for the, the, the actual key. Okay, so somewhere in this room we're expecting a strawberry. So first and foremost, let's check out the back walls as always. Feels like there's an eerie amount of space here. Check this one as well. Uh, check this little crevice here. I'm gonna stop voicing this out loud. Sorry. <laughs> All I'm doing is slamming my face into mountain walls. I thought you boosted into that to break it. I'm sorry, I think you jump on it and it falls out probably. Yes, that makes more sense. Anytime I, I get hit a point where I feel like I'm starting to rush through it, it's when I feel like that's exactly where they would put a strawberry, so I gotta head back. But I don't actually really see much around here that would... would be a place to hide anything. Hmm. I've got my earlier words once again. There's, there's a fine line between difficulty and challenge in video... Uh, sorry, frustration and challenge in video games. And sometimes they align. And sometimes that's not a bad thing. Like, I would say, um... Although it's not especially one of the most difficult games I've played, Shadow of the Colossus has a lot of frustration involved in its mechanics because there's a lot of stuff that is sort of inherently out of your control with how Wander flops around and stuff, but I would say it doesn't mar the experience uh, and it's kind of... it feels like part of it in a right enough way. Because even if Wander flops around and falls, all that really does is ruin your speedrun timer. It doesn't, it doesn't kill you immediately, necessarily. And usually not, actually. Anyway, sorry, this is the wrong time to rant about all of this. I just got caught in this, like, web of my own thoughts where I was like, why don't I think this game is challenging even though it's it's definitely, like, got a very satisfying challenge level? And also, why the hell can't I get this key in time? <laughs> oh, because I don't actually need the platform to do that. Sorry. feels like right here there should be a hidden heart, uh, a strawberry somewhere, because like this is just where you'd be like, alright, I'm at the end, gotta rush! And it's, uh, it's where they would hide one, but I I can't imagine where it would be, so I'm just gonna carry on. We should be expecting two more before the next checkpoint. That was a bad time to do that. Now why is it that there's a little incropping there? I'm not sure. Let me just go here so I can get it at that checkpoint. Is there... is this like a secret? These aren't actual spikes or something? I have no idea why that is there. Feels like there should be a heart there, doesn't it? <laughs> Did you see the way she turned around in her like, whoop! <laughs> Did it again, damn it. When she missed the black trampoline, there was just like one frame of regret on her indistinct pixelated face before she exploded. And there has to be a crystal in this. Oh, okay, I, I see a cracked wall there. Finally, I see actual evidence of a, a, a heart here, a strawberry. It's gotta be right at the end here. Oh, I just blew that right into the spikes, like a pro. 
Now the question is, when we get this, will we be finding that it is the last heart in this beat? Or the... I keep calling them hearts. They look like hearts. They're heart-shaped strawberries. I guess all strawberries are to a degree, but you know what I mean. Uh, oh, 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 I'm surprised I'm alive. Was that the last heart or the second last heart in this beat? That was the last one, so I missed one in there. Let's pop back there and do it, because I'm, I'm getting close enough that I feel like, yeah, I could... I don't want to see my deaths go up. Oh, bad. <laughs> I feel like I could do this one without a guide, probably. Did we manage any of the other ones without a guide? I feel like maybe on one of the other levels, I got all the strawberries without a guide, but like not the B-side and the uh, crystal heart. But it's been so long now. What do you expect me to do? Watch three videos again and understand things? Well, only two, really, because one of them was just the uh, arcade game. Pico 8. I take back my earlier statement. I do find this game challenging. I find it challenging, and I think it's the best kind of challenge. I don't find it grueling or difficult. That's that's what I'm trying to get at in the, in the end here. It's challenging in that it's easy to fail, and it's there are sequences that make you think a lot and practice a lot to get a maneuver right. Her sneeze is the most adorable thing I've ever seen in my life. But it's not difficult to where it's like... It asks you to memorize a really long sequence of actions that is really, really weirdly tight and unpleasant to do. Which would be the challenge, I do, kind of challenge I don't like, and it would be difficult and grueling. Gotcha. There we go. I think I've summarized it, my thoughts from the previous 50 minutes of this video well enough now. Good. Oh, I see why that strawberry would be difficult to get, because you could also just do it this way, which is easier. Uh, I do want that strawberry, though, because I want... Oh, I can't get it now. I have to die. I want to know how far away this the one I'm missing is. And I already forget because my short-term memory sucks. Check this out. Shoot, speedrun strats right here. Oh, oh, gonna look cooler than everyone, anyone else ever looked. Oh, 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 yeah, just like that. Smooth. Ah. There we go. That took longer than I care to admit. Uh, so there's the one right after this. So right after this... Which could, could very well mean it's even in this room and, like, behind a wall somewhere. I assume not. I assume it's just on the next... Level, because I felt like I was missing something there. This room, it's gotta be in this room somewhere. Because this is the room where you'd be rushing through and miss everything. But I have a feeling it's gonna be one that's in, in a broken wall or something somewhere. This platform seems so weird, doesn't it? I'm not getting a, like an obvious broken wall, uh, cracked wall sensation from any of the walls so far. Unless, except I don't know how you, that would actually happen. I was gonna say, unless it's the, the wall right behind that spiked uh, block thing. That goes away when you get the key. Like the doorbell button. But I don't see how that would actually... How could you get to that wall? Without it covering it up. But I feel like it's gotta be in this room. Because the next room is where we found the next one, right? But where? Where? Could it just be this here? Hmm. Let me go ahead of this. Maybe there was one more room. But I'm starting... I'm growing pretty confident it's in this room somehow. Feels almost like if you wall bounce here and then climb this fast enough, you could get up to that third ledge. Yeah, like that. Uh, there's nothing there. Damn it. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of interesting vibes in this whole, whole little area here. I mean, if, like, how can there not be something here? What is the point of that little incropping? It looks like you're supposed to use the wind to get in there and then, like, get back out again somehow. Looks like I may be using the old guy to rue yet. Because that cracked wall, I'm pretty sure we... was where we found uh, the strawberry earlier and found that it was the... the last one of this hurdle. Oh, what that might mean is that the other one is actually... This is like an alternate path situation and the other one is up here. That is exactly what it means. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, we spent longer on that than was really necessary at all. Oh my god, and it was a really easy one to get to. <laughs> Okay, good. <laughs> well, let's, I may as well carry on from here. Sorry, my brain gets all twisty turnied when there's uh, there's multiple alternate paths. That's why there are two openings like this here. I got it. Right, so now we're in the, the last block of this, uh, of which we have two of five. So we're missing one right at the start. Oh, well, that'll be up here, won't it? <laughs> it's incredible how easy it is when you're not panicking about being the level for the first time. Well, I mean, it's how easy some of them are, anyway. How the whole thing is for sure easier. How easy is not really the right uh, word, I, I suppose. Oh, this one goes up. I'm done. I was like, oh, man, it's going to let you steer left and right. That's so convenient. Well, it goes left and right. But I was the fool. Okay, so that's just to get you some height. I see. You're doing that to do like this, and then you go, What? Yeet. 
crap. And then we go a bit of the, uh, and I run out of stamina and die. And it's just like that. It's just as easy as running out of stamina and dying. Wait, at what point in that am I supposed to get my stamina back? Or am I not supposed to have stamina? I'm supposed to be on the right side of that. Oh! <laughs> Steering thing. I think we're about to find out, friends. It makes sense you'd have a little momentum from that thing, even if it's moving slowly. But it, it throws me off how, how just how far I jump off this thing when it's moving like that. Even though it makes perfect sense. Oh! Okay. No, no, I want to be on the right side for that one. Yes, yes, okay, I see what's going on here. I see what's happening, yeah. You're face to face with strawberries and it's strange. You don't even know how you feel. It's adorable. Well, it's nice to see that Madeline never dies. I could have sworn I was holding more rightly than downly. I think some of this is a, it's a little harder to do with the D-pad for some reason. Uh, it may just be my D-pad and not the game. For some reason, it's uh, a little more sensitive about if you're holding the down part of that than the up oh, or, uh, sorry, the left or right part of that. Yes, that makes sense. All right, strawberry gotten. First of uh, five. So we want to be looking out for the next two so we can get a sense of um, how, how close we are to the two we are missing. Oh my god, that was bad. So we want to be doing a bit like this, and then, uh, how would we get that one? You're probably on the way back, you get that one. Do a bit of this, do a bit of this, do a bit of... Oh, you can also just fall through here and then do something like that, I suppose. A bit of this, then a bit of this, then a bit of this, and... Not like that. Like that. Ah, once again, I'm, I'm some, somehow holding more down than right here. Yeah, like that. That's what I was trying to do. And which one was that? I assume that was the second one. Yep. Um, I remember this. I, I can I can remember this room, which is a bad sign. So I want to go down here and then. Uh, okay, hang on a minute. Can I do this without activating the platform? Oops. Oh wait, I, I probably want to go back once I've got that open, don't I? I? Maybe I should start using this stick because it keeps boosting down. I'm not trying to. Oh, that one only goes once, of course. Hey, never mind. D-pad was better. I guess I think I want to have that open and then wait for the platform to be back. Uh, it'll make this whole sort of block of this easier. That was probably a dumb way I did that. And like that. Uh, keeping our eyes out for the third strawberry so we know we're not missing the latter two. <laughs> okay, right. This is when this starts happening. I think there's a... a Non-zero chance that I missed the third strawberry that we got before. Uh, which is a bit bad, because I... Means I don't know how far along we are, if I am already should be on the lookout for the fourth and fifth ones or not. So I'm just going to try and be as diligent as I go through here. There's not really anywhere to hide anything here. Oh, okay, never mind. Here's our third strawberry. Out. Well, if I know that's the third one, I don't actually need to get it. Out. I very much appreciate that it tells you in what order... Uh, it gives you a little radar of, of the order of the strawberries. So we know that for everything beyond this strawberry, we should be on the lookout for number four and number five. For instance, this wall here looks a little suspicious. Hiya! Nope. <laughs> boing. Boing. A boing. A boing. A boing? No. Hang on. A boing. 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 Get this. Uh, let's just get this checkpoint. Go back here. You don't really have a way to do that, do you? I was trying to check if this wall had anything in it, but when you're falling... Okay, no, I checked it. When you're falling, you keep going to the left more than the right. The wind catches even harder. So we're still on the lookout for number four and number five. Two we're missing here, and I have got a nasty feeling they're going to be a little... little not quite in, as in the open as you might you might hope. Now let me just verify that this isn't one. It doesn't really look like it, but it is not. I'm doing a lot of face planning into those and not boosting into them from the top like I'm trying to. Like that. The noise it makes when you jump on the bubbles reminds me a bit of the noise you make it makes when you deal zero damage in Super Paper Mario. Bunk. Hit. Yeah. Wet. Um. I don't feel like there was a strawberry here. It didn't feel like there was enough. Ah, okay, so this is clearly one. How did I miss these? <laughs> 
I guess I was just so full of adrenaline, so so wanting to see the next beat that I wasn't even looking around in the least for all the crack it. Wows! Oh, and which one was that, by the way? Good, okay, so that was the fourth one, so we're still... Haven't missed the fifth one yet. I don't expect it will be in this room. None of these walls look thick enough for it, and there's no way I would slam into that wall and survive, so... Not that, it's gotta be further on here. Not seeing anything out of the ordinary just yet, but this screen scrolls, interestingly enough. So let's get over here and do this and then go up. Oh no, there is no up. That's all spikes. Very well then. Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya, hey ya. I could see one of these walls being cracked. So, uh, like I was kind of uh, saying earlier, um, and I've, I'm sure I've said earlier in this uh, EX playthrough, but not re not in this episode. Um, I don't know how well I said it in this episode so far. The hope for this playthrough is to get um, all the Steam achievements as well, but I, much like I'm doing with Omari, I don't want to look them up just yet. Um, I'd rather do that on camera at a certain point, because we can see them all together and stuff, and you can see my initial reactions to, they want me to do what? I bring it up because uh, there are probably some of them knowing this game's, uh, this game's aptitude for being speed ran uh, that I think... I, I would bet that some of these achievements are going to be like beat this level in a certain time period. And I'm going to do my best on those, but there's I'm, I suck at doing things quickly. So there's a non-zero chance that I will not be able to do some of the speed speedrun achievements if there are such things. And uh, my apologies if so. But I, they probably wouldn't make them too hard to do. They would make them like a, a decent challenge to go through four or five times kind of kind of achievements, wouldn't they? Anyway, um, well, that's weird. If I duck, I like slide forward. Oh, I, I guess it's because normally when you're walking and you duck, it would want you to kind of slide forward, but it just ignores the wind effects. That's cool. And we're not, I'm not going to look at all the achievements until we've got all the strawberries and uh, cassette tapes and everything first, because that seems like... I mean, there's probably going to be an achievement for getting each of them, so we may as well just start with that and keep our minds focused on that. It's a bit where there's a falling platform here, because that doesn't really mess with you too hard if you're running forward. So it almost feels like that's part of this somehow, but... Okay, I didn't need to do that boost just there. Oh, there's the strawberry. <laughs> I'm like looking around at the walls, just not noticing the obvious strawberry right here. Okay, right. So I don't know how I would get that just yet, to be honest with you. But let's uh, let's have a look, a good look and a thunk about it, shall we? Is it possible that I can go down and then... I meant to go more like straight down. I don't think I can go down and then boost back up. I think I will fall too quickly before the bubble reappears, but let's give it a go. No, yeah, that's no good. So what I'm probably going to have to do is, uh, the second I get out of the bubble, pointing it, point the bubble down, and the second I grab the strawberry, uh, I boost up to the right, and then the wind will carry me just far enough. That's what I bet it is. This seems like a pretty precise maneuver that will take a few times, though. Hmm. Actually, that seemed so woefully far from working that it's probably not it. Oh, 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 sorry, I think I got it. I think I have to uh, get there from here and then boost into this. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, that makes more sense. That is a thousand times easier than anything I was thinking of. Yay! So that's all strawberries and the crystal heart. Uh, so I think we're good, because this is the end of the level. Wow, holy crap. Oh, without a guide, sweet. I, I doubt that trend will continue on to um, the mirror temple. <laughs> but hey, that feels great. What a good way to, good first episode back. Sorry for being so rambly and, and uh, jumbled with my thoughts in this one. Ah, oh, feels so good to be back. I can tell this EX playthrough is going to be just so much fun. So chapter four, Golden Ridge, 100 percent it as far as I can tell. So it's on to what, what, is, what remains? It's the Mirror Temple and then there's the Mirror Temple, there's Reflection, and then there's the Summit, but I feel like I'm missing one in there. Ah, maybe not. That's all for now. Next video on the channel is going to be some more Heyman 2 Silent Assassin, but wow, we're away to the races on this uh, EX playthrough. Didn't even have to use a guide for this one. Oh, I know I keep repeating that, but I'm so chuffed to, chuffed to bits. Considering my recollection of the first, uh, from two years ago, was that I was using the guide pretty frequently. Thank you so very much for coming around. Hopefully I'll see you around. Admiral's gonna be out of here now. Peace! Struggling on it. Good. Oh, okay, so there's a guard right down there. Sure. You've got, like, a shotgun or something. I can assume, probably, that you will check my ID also. Uh, any guard down here will, I need to say. Which is to say, 